So I've got the DJI Osmo Mobile 7P and I'll be showing you how to use camera tracking with any camera app. So of course with previous DJI Osmo mobiles, you had to go to the DJI Mimo app and use that camera from DJI if you wanted tracking. So you'd normally, for instance, if you'd go to selfie and as you can see, it's already tracking me. And that is the only way you could use tracking. You couldn't use tracking with the default camera app. So on my iPhone, for instance, the default camera app will not track, as you can see. But with the DJI Osmo Mobile 7P, you do get an extra feature, and this is called the multifunctional module. And you can see it has sort of a camera here, and this is a sensor that helps you do tracking with any camera app. So all you have to do is attach it to the gimbal, either this way or this way. So there are pins on the gimbal, okay? So this pins right here on the clamp for the gimbal. And this is where you can choose whether you want to attach it uh, facing forward or facing backward, depending on which camera you want to use. I'm just gonna place it this way. So it's magnetic. So once it attaches properly and sits properly, it's gonna light up like that, okay? And once it lights up, you can see the red little light. So you do need to use the gestures to uh, prompt this to start tracking. Now the five hand gesture, when I show it, when I show it to this little camera, it's gonna turn green and that should indicate it started uh, the tracking. So for instance, as you can see, I'm just gonna give it my five hand gesture like that. And you can see, the light goes on and that means the tracking has begun. So now when I move, it's tracking me with the default camera app of my iPhone. And that is basically how you can uh, track or you can do tracking with any camera app. So you can do this with a default camera app. You can do that with uh, Beastcam, if you prefer to use Beastcam or any other app that you normally use to record videos, you can use that. Uh, you can use it and the tracker is gonna work, as you can see, okay? Now, of course, you can stop it anytime by showing it the five hand gesture once again, and it's gonna turn back red. Then now you can remove it and put it the other way around. If you want to use the back camera, you can just attach it the other way around and it's gonna track whatever it is that's on the other side, okay? Or if it's yourself, just go to the other side Prompt it up by giving the five, uh, five finger gesture like that, and it's gonna start. Now, one more thing before I finish, let me just uh, bring it back to this other side. And uh, let me bring up the front facing camera. In fact, let me use the default up. There you go. So once you give the five hand gesture, let me just recenter this. So once you give the five hand gesture to start like that, and it turns green and it starts tracking, you can now start recording or taking photos depending on which mode you're in. Let's go to video mode for instance. And now if I give the two finger sign, she'll start recording. There you go. There you go. So there's a three second timer blinking yellow and then it starts recording. So currently it's recording as it tracks me. And when I'm done, I just give the five finger, I mean the two finger peace sign, another timer and it stops recording. Okay, so let's, let's have a look at that video. Like that. So that is basically how to do tracking with any camera app on the DJI Osmo Mobile 7P. Thanks for watching. If you have any comments or questions, feel free to leave them down in the comment section. If you found this video useful, don't forget to leave a like, possibly also subscribe for more tips, and I will talk to you in the next one. Good luck.